Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, last week I got a request from someone to create a video about the comment stacking but with the stars removed so that we don't have the streaks that we see in uh, for example my last image which I'll put up with, which I put up right now. Um, as you can see there are a lot of like these bands which were the stars before. Um, they don't look very good. So today we want to fix that by removing the stars before we stack. Um, I've opened up an image here, uh, 20 luminance images. Um, I've calibrated them with flats, darks and bias. I assume you can do that by now. Um, and otherwise you can check out the video uh, that I created quite recently, the mono processing tutorial or the older version um, or even the one shot color version. Uh, as you can see if we go through the images, I opened up the, the frame list in the bottom right here and if you click and then use the arrow keys we can see that the comment and also the stars are moving. The stars moving is caused by dithering um, which I would always recommend doing. So we're going to go into registration, global star alignment and the rest of the settings should work fine and just click go register with the registration done we can go into the frame list and what we can see is that the stars aren't moving but the comet is. This is what we want for the star stacking. So what we're going to do now is going to stacking, change the method from whatever is here for me it's average stacking with projection to pixel minimum stacking and then just click start stacking. With the stacking of the stars done, we can now go and remove the stars from the sequence. So we're going to go into sequence, search sequences and do the R-luminance, uh, whatever you've called it, at least the registered ones, so that the stars are aligned. What we're going to do is we're going to go into the frames list, we got 1 to 20, so we're going to click the first one, hit the cross and zoom in and drag a little box around your comet. You can go into linear if that's easier for you. Go like this. And then pick object number one. Click this one. Then open the frames list again. Go to the final one. Close. Zoom in again. Draw another little box. Pick object number two. And then click go register. So the registration is done. And what we can do to check it is go into the frames list and just with the arrow keys go down and as you can see there's a, there's a red a little circle following uh, the comet this is the center of our frame so what we can then do is go into the sequence tab here go into sequence export base name i'm going to call it comet align because that's what it is and click export sequence now if we go into search sequences again, comment align, we can see that the comet is standing still basically in our frame, which is what we want, of course. Now something I like to do is to go into the final one. So that is see comet this one. Go into the top left, drag it, something like this, and then crop sequence, apply, so that we get rid of this black border. Just like that. Step is to run Starnet on all of your images. For that, you need to restart it, start serial in a special manner, because Starnet currently doesn't work um, if you launch it normally so we have to do it, do it a bit differently we go into the command prompt so cmd on a windows machine and you're going to copy paste this um, exact command i'll link i'll put a uh, i'll put it in the description so you can just copy paste it there um, and then we click enter and this should start uh, serial for us
Then we go into image processing, star processing, star net star removal. Because now we are going to remove the stars before we stack. So star net star removal. And then pre stretch linear image and apply to sequence. We don't need to generate mask, so we can remove that one and click execute. Now it may look like it isn't working. Your CPU supports instructions that this, this was not compiled to use. No worries. Um, it also says ready right here. But if you wait like 10 minutes, you'll see that a progress bar appears. And this progress bar is going to say one out of uh, image one is done. And then after another couple of minutes, image two is done. And this is going to take. Um, last time it took me about an hour and 40 minutes so it's going to take quite a while so um, I will see you when this is done as you can see it has just finished the Starnet run it was a lot quicker than last time um, this is because we cropped the image before so Starnet had less of an image to remove the stars off um, you can see it has created another sequence um, Starless, cropped, comet align in my case. Uh, we can go into the frames list just to check. And we can see that the comet isn't moving. And for the most part it has done uh, Starnet has done quite a good job of removing the stars and leaving the comet. Um, with the exception of some of the images. Um, so I'm going to uncheck those. Just to make sure they don't ruin the official stack or the total stack. So that leaves us with, let's see, total of 17 images. So as you can see, stacking is done. I've also done a quick background extraction. But as you can see, there are still some slight trails here. So what we can do to improve this result is going to stacking and just playing around with the different settings. I believe matte clipping should be very good at removing everything. So I'm going to try that one. And like this you can just play around with the different settings. See what creates a good background and what doesn't. After stacking using matte clipping and doing a quick background extraction this is what we're left with as you can see the streaks of the stars are mostly gone um, we do still have some uh, some kind of trails left um, but it's definitely quite a bit better also the uh, comet is coming out a lot more we can see it's a lot brighter it's um, you can see a lot more detail like these two tails here um, but this is where I'm gonna end the video I hope you found it useful and I will see you in the next one clear skies